Hey guys, welcome back to this video series on Postman. Now, in the last video, we learned how to set up our interceptor and how to capture requests from the browser, right? Uh, and store it in a collection or in the history. So these are the different requests which were being stored in this network request collection, which I created. Now, don't worry if you have not, if you have missed my earlier video, I have put a link above so that you can click and uh, go and complete that video because you need to set up your interceptor before you can continue with this video, right? Now, uh, in this video, we are going to talk about how you can capture and sync cookies between Postman and your Chrome browser using the interceptor, right? Now, the conventional way of adding cookies is if you go to any particular request like this, right? And click on the cookies link there, you can add your own domain, right? Like github.com. And then if you are aware of what cookies are going to be used, you can add them like this, right? So you can add any number of cookies here. So this is the conventional way of adding cookies to your API requests. Now, what Postman Interceptor does, it automatically adds these cookies and also sync your cookies between your browser and your post API requests, right? So uh, you can go to the Postman Interceptor. Uh, you can switch to the cookies tab. It still shows it's in beta version, but uh, as far as I have looked, it is pretty much working right now, right? So you need to turn on this capture cookies part, right? So here you need to turn this on and then we can add any number of domains here, right? So a domain like github.com, right? And click on add domain and that will be added here. So that's uh, what you need to change in the interceptor. And once that's done, and you open any particular website, right? Like github.com. So once you do that, uh, it will start capturing cookies for this particular domain, right? So if you want to verify that, you can again go back to the cookies and you will see these 10 cookies were already added, right? Uh, and there is a logged in cookie as well. So you will see that, uh, I'm already logged in as a you as a registered user in this GitHub, right? So this is my profile. Now, if I send a new request to github.com, you will see we can, it will already be logged in, in the logged in state rather than in the logged out state, right? Even though we haven't logged in um, through any API, right? Passing any authorization or something. Once we send this request, right? it will be successful. And if you go to the preview tab, you will see it's the exact same page which you are seeing on your browser, right? So it is syncing the cookies between your browser and your requests. Okay, now if I go and uh, click on sign out, right, from here. So I'm, I've signed out from my user from GitHub. And now if I send this cookie again, or send this request again, you will see uh, our preview will show you that github.com is in the sign out page, right? So there is no signed in user here. So the cookies are being synced. It's not like it will stay in the same state, but it is continuously being synced by the interceptor. Now it's pretty useful when you have some API which requires um, you to uh, store cookies in your browser or your API requests, right? Before you send that request, you have to make some changes to your cookies continuously. So in that case, you can use Interceptor, which will automatically add those cookies and sync them between your Chrome browser and the, or your APIs, right? So um, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to show you how you can use the Postman Interceptor to uh, capture cookies uh, into your Postman requests, right? So hope you like this video. Uh, keep watching and see you in the next video. Thanks.